Hey guys, new feature that is called Advanced Rules right here. Uh, you need the premium account to be able to use it and you also need to pay a one-time fee of $49.99 and then you will stay on the premium account which is $9.98 per month uh, USD. So first of all a quick tour uh, tutorial you can click to see better. So basically what it does is uh, the main changes from the basic uh, discount rules is that the new advanced discount rules allow to combine multiple discount rules per order and we also uh, allow you to use uh, equals rules bigger smaller not equal and not only what we used to allow which is bigger or equal or smaller or equals this will allow you for example to create a rule if the number of items in the cart equals two because in the past it was if the number of items in the cart is bigger or equal to which makes a lot of difference I mean at the end of the day it's really not the same promotion that you create you will also be allowed to create new rules related to customers for example you tag a customer with the tag wholesale and you can give free shipping discount to wholesale customers for example so simply click next read this uh, I'll pass quick because I mean I know what it does but you don't <laughs> you click next so basically in order you create a new rule and assign a discount you assign the rule to a promotion group because you can run multiple promotion at the time to different group of targeted customers you can define one or more discount rules for example rule one card amount is bigger than 50 bucks rule two two products xyz are in the cart rule three customer is tag wholesale this could be one single promotion in the past you could create only one rule and you could combine them and then you publish so let's create the first rule uh, we also added a widget to search for discount so you simply click search or you start typing and you see all the discounts that you create that you created in the discount section of Shopify uh, let's say I want this click save boom I have it I'll name this for example wholesale customers so I don't have any group right now so it will automatically create a new one and here we have some steps that you can do but uh, now uh, I'm telling you with my voice and the screen so the status I mean you can let it draft because you want to edit it and you don't want it to be published right now so it's safer this way but I could also publish it uh, and then you go to the rules section uh, you create a rule and you can add another one and so on so I want for example to buy at least 50 and as you can see we have new um, new uh, I mean new type of rules and it's not only bigger or equals or smaller or equals you can be bigger smaller equals not equal so if you want people to have 50 let's in the cart you would then write 49.99 for example or if you want people to have let's say I mean more than two so it's would it would start at three so you put two uh, but if they have two it won't it won't trigger the discount so if you want people to have two items and not more then um, you, you put equals to and I will uh, I could restrict to a product let's say I restrict to this product so the rule would be you absolutely need as a customer to have two items in the cart of ASS ASIS product not other products and well what's new is the ability to combine them so I want people to have two of the same items this one in the cart and I also want people to be tagged or to have an account 
or for example to have ordered at least twice uh, since the beginning of them being customers or to have at least spent let's say a thousand bucks in the past orders so and this one is customer accepts marketing which means they sign up to your newsletter uh, so yeah so, so so these are the new rules based on customer history also the cart as attribute set this is uh, used for example by um, other apps using uh, cart attributes let's for example take the uh, one app that is called uh, delivery pickup or I don't remember exactly the name but what it does is that it allows you to uh, pick up in store or to ship locally and they use a cart attribute to tag the order and I mean in order to be able to use this app combined to automatic discount you will need to create a rule with a cart attribute set and you will see what is the tag or the attribute that they add to the order and you will write it here so this is a more a bit more tricky you can email us if you have questions but um, yeah so 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 this for example I could say the customer is tagged with one of or is not in one of uh, so you can include or exclude so let's say the customer is tag wholesaler and I click enter so now I combine two rules and I also use customer tags to define them so if I recap to be able to have this 20% off discount the people would need to have two products of this assess product and would need to be tag wholesaler so I will click save and continue now I see my new wholesale customer group and I only have one combined rule so this the, the two rules that I combine into one is only one set of rules but what you can do is you can create a new combined rule a new set of rule and if this first set doesn't match for the wholesale customer group it will check the second one below so this is top priority but let's say customers fail to meet or to match the the rules which are two of the ass product and being tag uh, being tag wholesale if they don't meet this requirement then or app will check the second one below if you add a new rule you will see another one here and if it fails the first it checks the second and if the whole customers wholesale customer group fails it will also check the group below so for example if it's not a login customer with the tag wholesale and it's let's say a public promotion available to everyone it will check the the, the, the other group below this one so it's really powerful here you have something new as well and we didn't add it in the what's new you can set a date to start for example today and to end this promotion later so this we didn't have in the basic rules uh, in the past you couldn't schedule a promotion which is really really uh, useful for example during Black Friday and Cyber Monday or during Valentine's Day you just want to run a promotion for a single weekend you also have ability to unpublish to publish or to rename and if you want to publish you can publish all or you can simply click to publish this one and that's it 